So uh, we've been very fortunate in CLL over the last few years that we've had several new drugs approved that are very effective uh, for this disease. But unfortunately, we've also had several patients progressing on these drugs, and often it's with this Richter's syn syndrome, which is a very aggressive form of disease, uh, which often manifests like an aggressive lymphoma. Uh, and it's been very hard to characterize these patients because there's a few that occur with each trial. Um, they're reported in the papers. Uh, but the aim of our study was to actually try to put together this cohort across many different institutions to try to describe the characteristics of who these patients are and what their outcomes are with this with this syndrome. Uh, so basically we had uh, collaboration between nine academic medical centers. Uh, we were able to identify 71 patients who developed Richter syndrome on novel agents. Uh, these tended to be high-risk CLL patients with 17p deletion, complex karyotype, and unmutated IGHV. Uh, and the median time to development of Richter's was actually quite short, only about nine months after starting on, on novel agent therapy as a median. Uh, the patients in general unfortunately did poorly. Uh, the complete remission rates were only about 15% in our cohort, um, and it really didn't seem to matter which regimen was used. Most patients had some sort of chemotherapy-based approach, uh, but a number of other modalities were used, including checkpoint blockade antibodies, targeted agents, and so forth, uh, and regardless, the, the response rates were low. Um, so the median survival for our cohort was only 3.3 months, and I think this really highlights the, the major unmet medical need for these patients. One thing that was, I think, a silver lining of our study is that we did have seven patients who achieved complete remission, and none of those patients have relapsed to this point. A couple of them did go on to an allogeneic stem cell transplantation and, and remain in remission now several years after transplant. Um, and I think, you know, at the end of my talk, I'm going to mention some of the studies that our group and other collaborators are doing um, that I think do look promising, and those include checkpoint blockade antibodies uh, and also using some of the novel agents as chemosensitizers. So, for example, we have a study of venetoclax in combination with our EPOC chemotherapy that we're excited about. It's a study that's dedicated to Richter's patients, and we're hopeful that that will help to improve the outcomes for these patients.